right, so welcome to another episode of Pinterest Inspired DIYs. Today we're going to be recreating one of the vases that I showed you in my Pinterest Inspired videos uh, for home decor. And if you missed that, I will leave a link for that video down below as well as in the iCards above. But today we're going to recreate that vase. So I found this vase while I was out shopping at Ross. Um, Ross, my Ross at least, did not have a lot of things in store, but I did find one thing that was so RH inspired, RH meaning restoration hardware. Um, it was a statue of some people, um, which reminded me of the sculptures from restoration hardware. Um, so if you missed that video, I'll put a link for it in the iCards down below as well. But I found this vase on that trip and I thought it would, it's not exactly the size I need, but it's big enough that I think it will do the trick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bowl and we're going to revamp it. So we're gonna give it a textured look and we're gonna do that and we're gonna use, oh, and this bowl was $7.99. So I picked up this paint from the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar and we are just going to use some baking soda and we're going to mix them together and create our texture and hopefully our face will come out exactly the way we want it to. Um, I did another textured video um, where I created my Project 62 inspired bowls and I will leave that as well in the description box down below so you can go check that out it's very budget friendly and it was so easy to do so what we're going to do is we're just going to take our baking soda and mix it with our paint i love mixing different materials with paint and it gives you a totally different texture um, i just did another pinterest inspired video where i mixed paint and Mod Podge together and it get, it gave me a really really nice look for the vases that I wanted to create and if you miss that I will leave that also down below in the description box so we're just gonna mix up our paint and get the texture we want and then we're just going to paint our vase. We wanna give it a cement look and the baking soda mixed with the paint will give us the look that we are trying to create. So as you can see, we now have the consistency that I need. So we're going to add it to our and because we're using Dollar Tree paint, we're going to have to use several coats um, to get the look that we want because this one is not as pigmented as the other. other paint that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So we're just going to go ahead and paint this all over our bowl to get the look we want. And then when we're all done, I'll come back and show you the finished look. Okay, so our base coat is dry and it's not as dark as I want it to be. So I'm just gonna go back in and just add the paint itself on the base. And as you can see, it's still not dark enough. There is, this paint is not very good at all. I'm gonna have to um, get a different paint and then I'll be right back.
I hope today's video has given you some inspiration. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get that luxe look for less. So the flowers are from Amazon. Absolutely love these. And the succulents came from Crate and Barrel. They were on clearance. You guys know I love to shop off season and buy things when they're on sale. And these flowers here are also from Amazon. So a very inexpensive floral arrangement for a very budget friendly price. So if today's video has given you some inspiration and you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think of my DIY faux cement vase. I absolutely love it and I hope you do as well. If you are not already subscribed and you have enjoyed today's content, please consider subscribing and becoming a member of the iStyle My Style family. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope to see you in the next one.